So far, so good. Oh, that rock moves. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering why the quality of this is garbage. Well, I pulled a Peric, like actually beyond Peric. I think we need a new category for stupidity. I had my nice camera, $1,000 camera on a tripod, and I set it in the middle of the street while I was loading up my gear, and then drove off at five in the morning. And by the time I got to his place and realized it was gone, I drove back and someone had taken it. So you guys are only gonna see GoPro footage, so I apologize, like, I don't know, like really high quality stuff. It's just not gonna be available. I gotta run to Best Buy after we're done fishing and buy a new camera before I go to Canada next week. So that's nice. So I guess if you guys know if anyone finds, or if you're on Craigslist and live like around Omaha, Nebraska, and you see a Sony A5100 uh, with like little windscreen on top of the, the camera, please shoot me a message and uh, I'll give you I'll give you a reward, a couple rod and reels or something. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go fishing. Hope Hopefully catch something. It's just, it's not a good way to start your day, but you gotta always stay positive no matter what happens. All right. Let's go fishing. Okay, got, got a couple rod and reels here. I'm uh, gonna walk down this pond. This is a pond that I've never been to before, which is kind of cool. I like fishing new places. That's why I've been pond. You guys have been seeing me pond hop probably a lot more than you did last year or anything. Just like to try new stuff. And uh, hopefully I can scrap a video out of today without my nicer camera. But I appreciate you guys tuning in anyways, despite the quality issues. And uh, I'll uh, still try to teach you something about fishing ponds. We've got like 37 rod and reels, so I think we'll be able to figure something out. Oh, golly. This looks good to me. Yeah, I know. I might start off with a buzz bait, to be honest. It's kind of fun to catch them on buzz baits. First cast of the day. Oh, I caught the biggest one of the day so far. This is literally how my day's been going so far. Well, shoot, there's nowhere to fish. All right, we'll give this spot a try here. Better try, try a chatterbait. Order's a little murky, so I'm gonna throw black and blue for chatterbait. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Got him. Dude, right in the top of the mouth. That's why I use Nutex. You guys ask me why I use Nutex. Hooks him in the top of the mouth. That is actually a solid fish right there. Solid like two, two and a half. So that was the first fish. That's good. It's a good sign. Got him on the chatterbait. Right up against those weeds. See, I literally had my chatterbait dangling over the top of the, uh, the reeds. And I was lifting it out of the water and he hit it almost like, almost on top. So I don't think it'd really matter if I was throwing this versus a top water, but I think it's a little easier to keep it in, uh, keeping the strikes in a little bit longer than like a buzz bit or something like that. Right, so I'm, I'm making a little change here. I'm gonna go with the spook. Reason being is because I'm seeing some shad or just some type of white bait fish skip around a lot. So anytime you see that, uh, early in the morning spooks work really well and then uh, once the sun gets up then you want to throw like flukes or, or white spinner baits or white chatterbait stuff like that but I'm just gonna see if I can catch any if there's any big girls schooling right now they should hit this topwater spook all right here's a new tactic for you guys I don't know what the name of this is gonna be but uh, it's when you do this you flip your frog over the top of the reeds because there's no opening here for me to fish flip your frog over the top of the weeds and then work it up to the weeds and if you get hit you gotta set it really hard and get them over the top I don't even know if my frog's in the water at this point, to be honest with you. Ooh, ooh, this spot looks real good. Come on now. Ooh. God. All right, no luck with the Senko. Ooh, did you guys hear that? That was a fish literally right here. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a big freaking mosquito. Bro, get up. All right, so it's 7.22 a.m. And uh, I haven't gotten a bite after that chatterbait fish. And so, you know, I was talking about it earlier, switching to the white, and I figured, you know, why not? Why not switch to the white? The black and blue chatterbait's not doing any good. I'm seeing a lot of bait fish flickering around, so we'll, uh, we'll give the white chatterbait a, sh a sh try here. And then I'm gonna go put my top water rods back in my truck and then only grab some flipping baits and plastics uh, once that sun gets up and see if I can kind of punch and flip 
flip some of these fish out of the vegetation. Oh, you There's one. Whoa. All right, well, I'm getting the heck out of here. Today is just not my day. We're going to another pond though, so make sure you stay tuned and uh, you can probably see some more failing with flare. I might, that's my, what I call this video. But I wanna show you guys, this is the reality of being a YouTube fisherman. I'm not a professional angler. Sometimes I don't do very well, but I'm pretty confident about going to the next pond, catch a few fish. We are back in the truck. I'm sure the quality is just A1 on this GoPro, but we're gonna go to a new pond. You know, someone stole my camera this morning. It's just a great day to be Andrew Flair, and uh, we're gonna see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Okay, well, made it to a new pond. This should be interesting. Probably lock it. I mean, I didn't think I lived in the hood, and I got my camera stolen, so probably should lock the truck. Come back, all those poles in the bed will be gone. Just tied on the eye bobber. I don't know how deep this lake is. I fished it before one time in this little pond. It looks like it's about five and a half feet deep, maybe. Looks like the water temperature is 80 degrees. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, there he is. Look at my line. Look at my line. See it? Oh, dude, these gotta be bluegill. Can you see my line on top of the water? Oh. Oh god, that's a good one, isn't it? That's a chunky one. He ate they're in that in those weeds, aren't they? Uh-oh. I think I, I hooked the fountain. I'm not kidding, I did. Watch, watch. I'm done, I can't do this. Well, we finally started to catch some fish and Flair decided to hook into this uh, pond pump at a pond that we had permission to fish and someone kicked us off because he hooked the pump. So I managed to get my camera stolen, uh, catch one fish at the pond that was good. You caught like six. Broke off a chatterbait, drove to a new pond, blanked, and got us kicked out of a pond we had permission to fish. So I don't know what your day has been like, but I bet it's not as bad as mine. We are doing one last effort. It is 948. There's a pond by his house. It's probably a bad idea to even keep fishing, but we're gonna try. Okay, going with the frog chatterbait and Texas rig flipping bait for uh, this little adventure. This is my last chance to redeem myself as an angler. one oh yeah frogfish finally oh my goodness I thought I was gonna quit fishing that's a real nice fish check that out solid two and a half easy look how he ate that frog love it this might get interesting I need to cross this little creek thing here oh 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 so far so good oh that rock moves I don't like that oh Made it. A few moments later. Well, we're getting off the third pond, third and final pond, and we're gonna go grab lunch, and then I'm gonna go see if I can get a new camera. How was fishing today? It's not fine. You wanna go get lunch? Hitting up JJ's. Good ones. You guys know the tradition. Are you gonna put chips on your sandwich? I'm gonna try it for the first time. Whoa. All right, go for it. Is it pretty good? It's not bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good. What is going on guys? I got my camera back, not the one that got stolen, but I went to Best Buy and purchased another one. So I'm sure you guys hopefully notice the difference in quality. So any of the day, but I just wanted to give you guys a huge thanks for bearing with me through this video. I mean, it was, it was kind of cool to film with just a GoPro, like, like the good old days. At the same time, it was pretty lame because uh, the, just the quality just wasn't there. I really missed this camera. So again, just wanna thank you guys for sticking with me. I am doing Q and A's. I'm actually doing one tonight with my girlfriend. That'll be up at some point, you'll see. Um, so you can of course comment any questions you have for that, but I'm gonna read one right now All right, so here is the question Alex G says 
what's the difference between lake and pond fishing? Now, this question suits this video a little bit. There is a little bit of a difference. I have a video and I'll put it down in the description that goes over the, the top, I believe, five summer baits for lakes and ponds and they are a little bit different. The only difference that I usually tell people is Lakes, sometimes you want deeper lures like deep diving crankbaits, big spinner baits, heavy jigs, that type of stuff. Usually ponds are tend to be shallow. It really just depends on what you're fishing. But just to give you a couple ideas for ponds, Senkos, frogs work really well. And for lakes, I like to stick to more of like square bills and jigs. Those are a couple baits that I like to really use, but there, there isn't a ton of difference. So if you guys see me lake fishing and giving you chatterbait tips, don't think that you can't apply that to any ponds that you're fishing because you can. And vice versa, if I'm fishing a pond and you only fish lakes, you can apply those tactics as well. But if you want to leave a Q&A comment, just put Q&A and then dash and then whatever your comment is. That way I make sure to specify that and not straight up answer it in YouTube. But I'll actually like put it in the next Q&A. I've got a fan mail uh, P.O. Box set up as P.O. Box 8, Boys Town, Nebraska 68010. You guys send me fan mail. I'm doing a fan mail unboxing hopefully by the end of this week as well. So send me things, you can send me letters, you can send me fishing lures, food, it doesn't matter, send me whatever you want. But that's all I got for you guys, like I said, I really do appreciate you guys sticking through. Kind of sucks with my camera, if somehow you guys, figure, one of you guys figure out where it's at, or you see it on, online, someone selling it on eBay, slide into my DMs and I'll send you like a fishing rod and combo or something for doing it. That's all I got for you guys, thanks for watching.